I'm putting the engine back into the frame. And to do that I set up this wood with wood under it to hold it up and then I'm using the foot pegs to hold the engine level and uh, that should line up pretty close to where the holes are and um, so I'm going to move the bike on top of the engine and I can grab onto those wood and lift them up and down to adjust the engine slightly and then when these holes line up I shove this rod through to hold it and then once that's held then I can put bolts in and uh, yeah, we'll see how it works. This is what I'm putting into my barbecue sauce for the steaks today. Stubbs Barbecue, James Gang Spicy Barbecue, Kinder's Mild, Kinder's Hot, Restaurant Style Taco Sauce, Montreal Steak Seasoning, Cajun Seasoning, and this is my own blend of stuff. Now I'll mix it all in this bowl. And there's what it looks like before I mix. Mix it all up. Bracket. I was probably yeah. to catch grease. Yeah, you just throw your little can of yeah, or your old can. We got our smoker ready for cooking the meats. Now the coals go. Are you spray light? I don't think so. so what we got on that side? What's in there? He's That's just the coals. He started it, but it never lit. Oh. So we'll put some. We got some apple wood soaking. Put that in here. Heat will come through, cook our meat, and then exit through the pipe. That's the plan, anyway. Should be some good steaks if it works. Did you get them marinated? Yeah. I'm watching the temperature rise. It's up to 250 right now. It seemed to go up faster before. Going up slowly. Adding applewood to the fire. Got our meat in there and it's almost 300 degrees. As soon as you close that door, it'll heat up again. Should. Should. Once the wood dries out, catches on the fire, it heats up. It is now to 380 degrees, which is right in the middle of the barbecue roasting range. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna let it go. 